7 Martial Arts to Help Women Self-Defend in the Street At a time when women are increasingly under the risk of being groped, harassed, molested, and raped, it's imperative that women practice a martial art and defend themselves. While any martial art would work well on the street, if a female has received training in it for a significant length of time, there are some martial arts that may prove to be more effective and better suited to women than others. In this video, we are going to take a look at seven of the most effective forms. But before we do this, remember to give us a thumbs up and a quick click on our subscribe button to get more videos like this one and support Brutal TV. Thanks! But for now, let's get started with our list. First on our list is Judo, one of the most popular and widely available martial arts on the planet. Judo is an art focused on grappling and throws, using momentum to destabilize opponents and damage them by throwing them onto the ground. It is a highly effective martial art with some of the most effective and incredible throws. However, there is also a practical reason why it is one of the best for women. Most fights start and happen at close quarters, at least on the streets, and that is especially true for assaults. When violence against women happens, it usually happens by the attacker quickly closing distance so the victim cannot have time to think. Judo teaches timing and leverage more than strength, and how to use your skills to overcome brute force. By getting good at judo, it means you can instantly end an attack by throwing the opponent and pinning them to the ground, no matter how big they are. Second, we have Muay Thai, one of the toughest martial arts. Generally, it relies on strikes from a close and long range. Here, you learn how to elbow and knee opponents from the clinch, as well as box and kick from a distance. Muay Thai also uses a number of foot sweeps and trips which can take the opponent down to the floor. In this sense, it is actually very well-rounded and isn't just reliant on striking. Muay Thai is effective on the streets for women since it relies on the effectiveness of the use of elbows, knees, and the head, all of which are tougher than a fist. The elbow, knee, and the head are better able to inflict damage on another without sustaining injuries to yourself, if done right. Compared to certain other martial arts, there are quite a few women training Muay Thai, which may be encouraging for some. Third on our list is Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. This martial art has exploded in popularity over recent years and prides itself on pressure testing its techniques. It's also very female friendly and has a large women's community. One of the biggest philosophies of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is that it often emphasizes using technique to overcome strength. Generally, in life, stronger people have an easier ride when fighting. However, in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, you will literally see more experienced practitioners beating and choking newer, bigger opponents during sparring. This is incredibly promising for women as most attacks often end up grappling. Whilst most people are naturally clueless on the ground, this is where Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu excels. The main benefit of training in this martial art is that you can attack from your back and safely subdue bigger attackers. We're now at the halfway mark, so just a reminder to like this video and subscribe to Brutal TV for more top quality fighting videos. Now back to self-defense. At number four, we have Krav Maga, designed by the Israeli military. This martial art has a fierce global reputation Unlike other martial arts on this list, it does not focus on a competitive element and instead focuses solely on self-defense. This means that it holds no punches and can be very nasty in terms of the techniques taught. As a Krav Maga practitioner, a woman can learn how to use any part of her body as a weapon, especially the knees and elbows, as well as be equipped to neutralize both armed and unarmed violent situations effectively. There is no sportsmanship in Krav Maga, as its sole purpose is fighting and winning, using eye gouges and groin strikes, or by whatever means possible. A perfect defense for a woman being attacked. Next at number five is Aikido a Japanese martial art that is unlike most other styles. 
Many other martial arts are considered hard, linear styles that meet force with force. However, students of Aikido are taught to redirect an attacker's force and use it against him. This is perhaps one of the most effective since it relies on quick throws and locks to neutralize a conflict without having to engage in a lengthy battle. Aikido is beneficial to women because it does not require women to be stronger than male attackers in order to defend themselves. At number six, we have Taekwondo. This martial art originates from Korea and is one of the world's most popular. The term Taekwondo is translated the way of kicking and punching. This style is often thought of as a sport that can be seen in martial arts tournaments and even in the Olympics. However, Taekwondo has many effective self-defense techniques. It is particularly well suited for women because of the art's emphasis on kicking. Men generally have more upper body strength than women and this factor can leave women vulnerable in an attack. Taekwondo equips women with an arsenal of devastating kicks that can help combat the strength of male attackers. Lastly, at number seven is Jeet Kune Do. This martial art was founded by famed martial artist Bruce Lee. His idea was to take the best, most effective martial arts techniques from a variety of styles and blend them into one fighting system. It also has a number of dirty street techniques that are useful in street fights. These include groin strikes and chops to the throat. In this sense, Jeet Kune Do is kind of similar to Krav Maga and does not show respect to its opponents. Jeet Kune Do teaches its students to deal with attacks in the most efficient manner, using among other things kicks and takedowns. The students also learn how to hit the closest target on an attacker with the closest weapon they have available. Striking an attacker in the eyes with the fingers would be a good example of a Jeet Kune Do defense. This art is good for women to learn because it teaches them how to escape dangerous situations as quickly as possible before the danger has an opportunity to escalate. When it comes to self-defense, a lot has to be said for simply running away. This can end a lot of negative situations. Of course, when running is not an option, this list has covered all aspects of fighting, from the stand-up grappling of judo to the ground fighting of Brazilian jiu-jitsu, from the kicks of taekwondo to the elbows of Muay Thai, and lastly, from the eye gouges of Krav Maga to the groin strikes of Jeet Kune Do. All of these martial arts should help from a self-defense perspective for women. That's our list of seven defensive martial arts. Which do you think is the best technique? Or is there another discipline that you think is better? Tell us in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Brutal TV for more top quality fighting videos just like this one. Thanks for watching.